morning everyone once again from brazil it's been about a year and a half since we've been in brazil for those of you that don't know carol is brazilian and i'm half brazilian my mother's from brazil so we both lived around here and right now we're in rio we're not in the city of rio but we're in the state of rio and we're at an area called costa verde which is the green coast it's actually my favorite area in uh, Rio, the state of Rio. And we're at a really cool place. So we've come here for Carol's mom's birthday. We thought we'd surprise her with this nice isolated place. So this is $250 a day, but there's five of us here. So dividing it, it's not that bad. And check out this. So we're completely secluded. The only way to get here is by boat. That's what we did yesterday, like a five minute boat. We're actually on a separate island, it's called Ilha Comprida. So yeah, there's no roads or anything around here. We're just completely isolated in the nature. Really cool at night hearing all the frogs, weird bird sounds. I mean, it's like a jungle out here. Oh, Doggo. I don't even know whose dog this is. What are you doing out here? <laughs> we brought a dog with us called uh, Joey, Carol's family's dog, but that isn't it. And it also looks really nice inside, so huge living room area, good for the amount of people that we have, nice big TV. And then this one has two bedrooms, so Carol's mom's staying in this one, double bed. Even these are kind of beds here. And then over here, the big kitchen. Here we've got like a, a wood stove, I don't know what you call those, where you put wood inside in the old school days. And yeah, me and Carol are sleeping in this one. A bit dark at the moment. Not bad though. And here's the bathroom. Come over. Oh, you scared? No. <laughs> Where are you come from? Why are you scared? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Joey's really enjoying all this land. Joey in the wild. <laughs> She's got to be careful with the capybaras. Oh, yeah, there's capybaras here. Yeah, capybaras. But I think only during the night. I think they're friendly though. Yeah, but Joey is not friendly. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Joey's aggressive. Joey! Joey! Before we continue with our day, we're going to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark, which is our recommended VPN provider that we've been using for almost three years now. If you are a digital nomad or a traveler like us, you know how risky it can be to frequently connect to public Wi-Fi. However, Surfshark allows us to have a private connection, keeping our personal information and sensitive data safe from potential hackers. Surfshark also allows us to avoid online restrictions when visiting internet restricted places. For example, when we traveled to Turkey last year, we could only access some online booking platforms by using a VPN, so Surfshark saved us a lot of headaches when booking accommodations. Besides that, Surfshark also gives you access to all Netflix libraries. Depending on the country that we are, we have access to limited series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark we can set our devices to a different location and that way we can watch any series or films that we want. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it to keep your entire family safe online too. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code Jumping Places to get three months for free, and that also includes a 30 day money back guarantee policy. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Joey on the run. <laughs> <laughs> He's too happy. Yeah, so this is the area that we arrived at yesterday. There is a caretaker's place here, so. 
we're not completely alone. If anything happens, there is someone here. And when we arrived here yesterday, it was high tide. So there was actually no beach here at all. So this is the first time that we see in the beach. It's nice. Yeah, it's good to be back in Brazil, especially in this area of Rio that we really like. Yeah, I just mentioned before, I think it's our favorite area. Yeah, because it's very beautiful and also peaceful, depending on where you go. So we really like this part. Yeah, you get even better views of the coast from here. So we came from over there. It was like a little town and this was the boat that we came in. So there are beaches in this area that are a lot nicer than this one. This one is very murky and we are going to be doing a boat tour in this video. I'm going to be doing it tomorrow but I'll include it in this video. There's quite a few islands around here so we're going to be visiting some of those. And the place that we went to the last time we were here is called Ilha Grande, which means big island. And yeah, I think that's like the nicest place, most famous place around this region. It's almost like an island in Thailand. That's how it felt when we were there. Very similar appearance. Still nice here though, even with the murky water. because this place has two kayaks and also a stand-up paddle so these guys are gonna do stand-up paddle and me and Carol will do the, the kayaking easier option look at that bee what do you do? just to film the queda who will lift? no, no no, no look at so these kayaks, it's just one person for each kayak. It's not the double one that we usually get. The objective is to go all the way over there where the river meets the sea. Don't know how far that is though. Looks pretty far, like 10 minutes maybe, maybe more. We'll see if we can get there. Either way, we're gonna pass these other beaches. Yeah, it looks nice from out here. Mission accomplished. We made it to the river area. Well, me and Carol did. <laughs> I feel bad for the other guys. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make it too hard on the stand-up paddle. Really shallow here, so we had to get out, pull it the rest of the way. I think they're good here, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. So this is the island that we're on, and on the other side there, that is already the mainland, so we're pretty much right next to the mainland. We're not on like some remote far away island. Just this river here that separates the island. Not sure if I can walk across the river. It seems shallow so far. The monster crabs. Yeah. Yeah, I can see this one here. Oh, it's kind of blue. Oh. Yeah, that guy's gonna grab my toes. And I was just walking across without seeing anything. No, not a good idea. I think people eat those. Really? Yeah. The one with the blue claws. All right, so you can walk across the river. Now I'm officially back on the mainland on this side. Carol's over there. She didn't want to deal with the crabs. And on this side, it's just the continuation of the river. Pretty wide, it would probably be cool to kayak down the river. Not today though. Really do love the landscapes around here though. It's so wild.
time so we're only gone like five minutes and check this out the tide's coming in super quick almost gonna lose my kayak i think the majority of costa verde is untouched like this yeah there are a few cities uh, some quite big cities like Angra do Geis, but since it's a very big uh, part of Rio you can find areas like this where you basically don't see anything other than just green mountains and beautiful scenery <laughs> all right let's go back to one of those little secluded beaches here yes. on our way back so that's funny we were kayaking all this part and now I'm just walking <laughs> I didn't realize it was this shallow we just walk around Cow's in the kayak though, she doesn't like the sludgy ground, the creepy crabs. Thank you. Yeah, so this is one of many of the little hidden beaches that disappear later on when the tide comes out. It's cold, so I think it's from the, the spring. Yeah, the guy mentioned there's a spring up here, right? Yeah. Probably drinking water too, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> yeah, better not risk it. I didn't mention, but we're here in July, August, which is the winter in Brazil. And for us, it's like the perfect time because it's not super hot, but it still gets to around like 25, 26 during the day when the sun's out. If you go in the south of Brazil, that's where it gets like really cold. I don't think it ever gets cold in the north, northeast, right? No, it's very, very rare. But uh, yeah, like you said, we always come to Rio at this time, time of the year because the weather is perfect. Because during summer it's too hot and everything is very packed. Even this area, many people come here for vacation, so it gets a bit packed. So that's why you like this season. Yeah, for us it's the best for Rio. Winter. So we're doing the boat tour now. It's a thousand three hundred overall. That's for the private tour. And our first stop is this island called Ilha de Paquita. Looks a lot nicer than that island that we're staying on. Water's a lot clearer here. So many islands though that we pass now. I didn't even realize there were so many islands around here, and a lot of them are private too. Yeah. So many are owned by the rich people, the rich Brazilian like uh, artists and celebrities celebrities politicians but uh yeah you can see why because this area is so so beautiful but i think even this one is private but uh you can come and visit ah this is a private a one then yeah that's why you have a house and a restaurant i think all the islands here are already private yeah so there's a restaurant that you can eat at there there's even a little bar there and i think they serve food so that'd be cool eating on the floaty restaurant place so we're just gonna check out the other side quickly i think there's two sides of the island ah, so this side is more rocks but still swim if you want a little open in there that's the funny thing in uh, rio you have vultures at the beaches you see a lot of vultures around rio not very common in other places We ended up bringing this big cooler with us that they had at the place that we're staying. It's pretty common in Brazil. 
that you bring your crew to the beach, bring all your drinks, Coca-Cola, save money too, right? Probably gonna grab a beer. I'll try this one. I don't think I've ever had that before. Don't know how you say the name of that. Looks German or something. Yeah, this is a really good beer. So it is German. It says that it's from 1516, so a really old one. You're not drinking? No. Well, we brought some wine, maybe later. Too early. Yeah, it's not even midday, so too early. Yeah, I think it's like 11 still, a.m. Seems colder than yesterday. Yeah, I think it's because it's winter, so the water doesn't get too warm. But I think in summer it gets warmer than this. But Rio in general usually has pretty cold water, yeah, I think. Yeah, in Copacabana, Ipanema, the, the most famous beaches, it's almost always cold. <laughs> <laughs> so this tour is pretty much the entire day. I think we can spend the day out here until it gets dark around 6 p.m. So ages, I don't know if we'll stick around here that long. We'll be visiting some other places though. The guy said there's some other places with warmer water for some reason, so we'll check that out. So nice though, the landscapes here. So you can see this is an, an island here, but all that back there is the mainland, the huge mountains. Now at stop number two, this is called Praia do Bambu, Bamboo Beach. Lots of bamboo trees here. I like these big rocks as well. Some huge rocks in the middle of the beach. The beach does continue on. You just can't really see from here. Loads of boats stopped here, but nobody really comes on the beach. Seems like they're all chilling on the boat instead. So this is the beach that apparently has warm water. Wow, really warm. The other beaches. So we asked the guy on the boat why it's warm here because it's kind of strange since we're so close to the other beach and it's actually because there's a nuclear reactor somewhere over there on the coast and that heats up this place, nuclear beach.
stuff in for our lunch break another beach just around the corner this is called Piraquara de Fora hopefully I said that correctly I think Piraquara is an indigenous name so the restaurants just over here nice big beach so really cool restaurant location so the last two places that we stopped are actually on the mainland these are not islands but you can't get here by road only by boat it's only from out here we got them to set us up a nice table as well awesome views carol got a caipirinha yes the brazilian famous 25 reais yeah that's with lime right yeah lime and, and cachaça. cachaça we also got some snacks so this is fish and i think that's like a pastry with chicken and a cheese one So it's the next morning now. We've come back to the little beach at our place, and everyone's out here doing the stand up paddle and kayaking. Joey's new favorite hobby. Yeah. <laughs> it's shivering. Yeah, he went in the water before, right? Yeah. I think he's cold. How's it going, Joey? The cruise? So we're heading out of here now. We're heading back to Rio, the city of Rio. Luckily, the people that own this place said that we could stay here as long as we want today. A lot of the places that we go, usually we have to check out around 11 or 12. And I think now it's like 4 p.m. So they gave us pretty much the full day here. So that was nice of them. So we're gonna have a lot more videos coming here from Brazil. We're not entirely sure what we're gonna be doing on the rest of the trip. I think we're going to be here for over a month since we're here with family. We'll be visiting a lot of new places that we never visited before. So if you like this video, just drop a like to support us as usual. Subscribe to see more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one.